morning everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is alex i am a law school graduate i'm currently studying for the bar exam to take it here in texas so that's pretty much what my days consist of but i do run occasional errands and i'm just bringing you guys along with me on this journey to getting licensed as an attorney here in texas so that's what i'm up to right now i hope you guys stick around and subscribe today i'm going to be vlogging all of my day today possibly tomorrow but i'm not exactly sure if i'll include tomorrow just depends how much footage i get today today's going to be a super crazy day as you guys saw i woke up pretty early this morning because i'm about to have the most chaotic and longest day of my life i have a lot of updates for you guys but i did get ready this morning i did my hair and makeup i'm going to change out of the shirt right now because i actually need to head out and like 30 40 minutes um i do have a few errands to run and of course i have a lot of studying to do so i hope you guys stick around throughout this vlog and i, and I hope you guys enjoy it i did wake up early because i did need to start studying pretty early so i have already been studying for quite a few hours okay so i changed i'm just wearing this like white tank top and leggings it is way too hot for me to put on any other shirt with sleeves but i did get a package from rare beauty um i did purchase the bronzer that i was telling you guys about in my last vlog they finally got the shade in stock but sephora didn't get it i hardly ever order directly from like the brand i usually just go to sephora ulta wherever but sephora didn't have it so i ordered it off the rare beauty website and Oh wow, it comes with, came with this little card. It comes in this little bag, which is so cool. I'm pretty sure Sephora doesn't give you guys this, but it has this rare beauty bag. The item is super small, it's just a bronzer stick. And I've been looking for the shade Happy Soul, but I have not been able to find it anywhere. So I finally found it, there's the shade. Um, I obviously already did my makeup, so I cannot try it out today, but maybe I'll try it out tomorrow. I've been looking everywhere for this, so I'm so excited to try it out. It's just the bronzer stick, so you guys know I've been using the ColourPop um, blush. So now I want to try the bronzer. I might try the blush from Rare Beauty, the liquid one, because everyone talks about it. But I don't know, I'm not convinced fully yet, but I did want to try the bronzer. So I did just get that. But right now I'm actually... But right now I'm actually about to head out because I have to go get fitted for a dress. My sister is getting married later on this year, so I have to go get fitted for my dress. I need to do it now because I need to have like a few months apart so I can get like tailoring and alterations done. So I need to go do it now and today's the only day I can really do that. And then I did order a package from Abercrombie & Fitch, but it shipped to the store since i wasn't here in town and then after that i have to go buy groceries and lastly i have to clean i don't know if i already mentioned but i was out of town for an entire week i went home to visit my family back in my hometown so i was gone for an entire week i was still studying over there i took my laptop took my books i still met my hours so i'm still doing okay on studying but now that I'm back in town, I have a lot to do. I have my clothes still in my suitcase, so I need to put that away. I need to clean around here. I need food. I don't have any groceries in the fridge, so I need to go buy that. And I'm taking today to run all those errands just so I don't have to do like little bits every day and take time away every day from studying. So I'm just gonna do it today, get it over with. It is going to take a huge chunk of my day and unfortunately of my studying time, but that's why I got up early to study. Um, I do have quite a few hours under my belt for today, but it will be a late night as well because I have to stay up studying. So yeah, definitely a really quickly overview of what today looks like and where I've been and what I've been up to, but I have to head out in like 10 minutes because I have an appointment at 11.30 for my fitting. So. I have to head out, finish getting ready, put all this stuff away, and then I'll see you guys probably in the car or whenever I get to the dress place. Not sure yet, but definitely a lot of things to do. Okay, 
Okay, so I just got done at my dress fitting. I'm about to head out to the Galleria. Like I said, back at home, I had to order my package to the actual store because I was out of town for an entire week. And I just didn't want it to sit there and for them to hold it there while I was gone. So I have to go pick it up at the store. But yeah, I just got fitted for the dress. So that's very exciting. The wedding is later on this year. So I had to get it now because if not, it wouldn't get here on time. And I waited until I got back from visiting my hometown so my sister and my mom could see me try it on and like we could all decide on which one I wanted. And then here I'm just ordering it since I do need to get like alterations done and all that. I could get it done here. So that's what I just came and did. So now I'm going to head out to go get that. And then like I said, I still have to go grocery shopping and I'm going to tidy up the apartment a little bit. I need to like vacuum, wipe stuff down, and then obviously put away all my clothes. But I'm gonna head out to the Galleria now. That's probably my least favorite part of today's errands because I hate going to the gallery. It's just such a big mall for no reason. But let's go over there and make it a super quick thing. It's 11.26, so I'm definitely running early, which is good, but I have to go because I still have like about six hours of studying to do. So like I said, it's going to be a late night tonight and that's fine. I was fully expecting it. I'm not behind luckily because I did study while I was home last week, but I don't want to get behind today. So let's go. because it's so hot outside I'm sweating like crazy I have plenty of them I'll probably do like a quick overview and just do like an overlay here of what I got nothing in particular I'm trying to get back into the grind of eating healthy I was doing it for a while I was going to the gym almost every day Monday through Friday but obviously I left home I didn't go to the gym there and obviously I didn't eat that healthy there either so right now my plan is to eat better for the next few weeks until the bar exam and then obviously work out like I had been doing so today didn't count because again I had a million things to do but I'm planning on going back to the gym tomorrow I am going to cook something healthier today um, so I can start getting used to it again but yeah I'm about to put all the food away I ran all my errands I picked up my stuff from Abercrombie it's in my car I didn't bring it up because I had all the stuff or all the food I should say so I'll show you guys that a little bit later and then I did also go to get fitted for the dress so like I said the wedding I think I've already said like a million times the wedding is at the end of this year so I'm super excited about that I do have the simulated MBE portion of my bar prep this Saturday which is the simulated multiple choice part it's six hours 200 multiple choice questions it's going to take place at school so I'm going to be on campus for that so it's going to give me a little bit of an idea of where I'm at as far as the multiple choice. So that'll be interesting. But I'm going to put away all the food because a lot of this needs to be refrigerated. And then I'll chat with you guys afterwards. I also need to make something to eat. It's 2.12. So I'm still doing pretty good on time. I've only had coffee and two boiled eggs. So I'm definitely hungry. So while I was out of town, Liquid IV was super kind enough to send me some of their products. They actually sent me three of the hydration multipliers. I got the flavors guava, uh, passion fruit, and lemon lime. And then they were also super kind to send me their energy multiplier, which I have not tried. I did try the lemon lime flavor this morning and it's really good. And I'm sure guava is going to be just as good, if not even better. So I'm super excited to try those. The energy multiplier, I got it in the lemon ginger flavor. As you all know, I like to drink ginger shots, so I'm excited for this one as well. They did give me a discount code. I'll put it right here on the screen. It's just Alex Garcia. It's just Alex Garcia, and if you guys use that code, you get 25% off their website, as well as free shipping. So you guys should definitely use the code. I'll also leave a link down below. You guys can use that link and it'll take you straight to their website. I think the hydration multiplier is going to come in really handy, especially right now when it's so hot. 
and gross outside. Texas is hitting over 100 degrees literally every day. So definitely need to be hydrated during these hot, hot times. So these are going to be coming in handy. So thank you again, Liquid IV, for sending me these items. They did not sponsor this video, but they did send me over these awesome items. So I hope you guys check them out. Again, I'll leave the link down below. in my suitcase i just need to put the suitcase away but i'm about to open what i ordered from abercrombie and fitch i got it on a really good sale i just hope it fits so i ended up getting a vest i've been wanting a vest like for the colder months so i can wear like a long sleeve under it but last year i was a little bit too late when i started looking for one because it was almost about to like winter was about to be over so they didn't have that many left and I didn't like the ones they had. So they had some right now and they actually have them on sale since we are literally in the middle of summer. Honestly, I don't know, it doesn't look awful. I wanted it a little bit more cropped. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Okay, so I think it's a little bit too big. I wanted it to be a little bit more cropped. So like maybe like right there, something like that. And I'm just not vibing with the long one. But maybe I'll just keep it. But I think once I wear a long sleeve, it won't look as weird. I think right now what I'm wearing is just throwing me off. But I think I might just keep it. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I went to go get at Abercrombie & Fitch. I did also order some shoes from Steve Madden. I ordered two pairs. But one of them is here. The other one I think might be lost. It should have gotten here a few days ago. If not by the end of today. And it's still not here. So I think that one might be lost, but I'll put a picture of the ones that did get here because they're in my closet and I'm not going to go get them, but they are really cute. I actually ordered, I finally fell into the clip trend and I ordered some off of Amazon. I got a pack of six. It has these colors, a blue one, a black one, and like two other like neutral color ones. But I gave half of them to my sister, so I have these two and the black one, and she got the other ones. I can leave a link down below if you guys want to purchase this pack of six. And these are like the perfect size for my hair. I don't have like a ton of hair, so I don't need like a massive one. But yeah, I've been on a little bit of a shopping kick, even though I shouldn't be since I'm not working right now. But yeah, I've been buying a few things. Anyways, these are some of the things that I've bought over the last week which is crazy because I wasn't even home, but I'm gonna get back to studying. Just wanted to show you guys what I got. Still not sure about the vest. Might return it, not sure. <music> guys it is tuesday june 22nd um i'm getting my day started i will be vlogging today so i'll combine yesterday and today i am going to do a full day of studying today with like really no interruptions during the day i hope i didn't go to the gym this morning like i said i would and i really did want to go but i just have a lot to do if i'm being honest i have to take a simulated mpt today which i'll explain more about that later but that's the plan for today. I'm putting this one off for some time. I was supposed to do it last week, but I just wanted to make sure I had a lot of time and like no distractions and obviously being home. I loved being home, but I didn't really have the silence that I have here. So I'm going to be doing the MPT here and I want to get it over with. So I'm going to eat breakfast and do that right now. 
and so I didn't go to the gym but I do plan on maybe going later although usually when I say I'm gonna go later I typically don't but we'll see if not for sure the rest of the week I do plan on going but I just need to get started with my study day it is really like 8 30 so we're still pretty good on time still pretty early but lots to do I'm going to make breakfast maybe a coffee or a matcha not sure yet Okay, so here's what I'm doing today. I'm going to do the MPT, which I told you guys about earlier. It says three hours, but in reality, it's supposed to take an hour and a half. You only have 90 minutes to do one MPT on the actual bar exam, so I think they just give us extra time if we need it, but I'm going to try to do it in an hour and a half as I'm going to have to do it on the actual bar exam. And then I have a 15 set or a set of 15 multiple choice questions on mixed subjects later. And then I need to finish my torts lecture, and that's the last of torts. And then I'm also going to do, I'm going to try to do both of these torts learning questions down here, but I might just get to one, we'll see. But I have a pretty busy day. Again, if I finish the MPT in the hour and a half that I'm technically supposed to do it under, I think I can definitely hit these questions down here later on. So I put my coffee in the fridge so it could cool down, and I'm not going to drink it just yet. I'm going to wait until I'm done with the MPT and it'll be a little reward for finishing this MPT and also because I don't want to be sipping while I'm working because that's not realistically how it'll be during the exam and also because I don't want caffeine in my body before I do the MPT so just going to drink it after again it's going to be like a little reward and I did the coconut one which I haven't had in so long and that one's so good if you haven't had it Go to an espresso store or order the co order the coconut one because it's so good and it's limited time, I believe. So anyways, I'm going to start on this MPT. I have my book here with me. This is the one that I'll be using for the MPT, not the thick ones, but I'm going to get started. Okay, I just finished. I had 18 minutes left, which could be a good and a bad thing so i'm about to grade it it does give you a sample answer and then like some like check boxes to check off whatever you did or didn't write so you can get kind of an idea of what your grade is and what you would be scoring on this mpt so i'm about to grade it really quickly okay so i like counted all the little tallies and i got a 47 which is above passing which is pretty good yeah i'm done with that i'm going to check it off of my barbary assignments Something that I have found a little bit annoying or frustrating with Barbary is that technically under Barbary I've done three hours today because that's the time it has allotted for the MPT. But in reality, as you guys all saw, it took me an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, about an hour and 10 minutes to finish this. So on Barbary, like on the book, it's reading that I've done three hours, but in reality, I've only done an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and 10 minutes. So something I learned from a friend, which I guess I could have thought about this on my own, but it didn't click until I saw her doing it, is that she actually takes a time of the time she's actively studying. So she'll run a timer, kind of like how you do when you are billing hours at work, like you run a timer and then you stop and then you start again, kind of like that. So um, I'm running a timer every time I study and then if I take a break to eat or something, then I stop. But that way I can see how long I'm actually actively studying as compared to like if I'm going off Barbary and right now it says I've done three hours. So let's say at the end of the day it says I've done eight hours. I might have only done like five hours in reality, which is kind of frustrating because then I guess that tricks your mind. You just have to be actively working or keeping track of that time yourself instead of relying on Barbary. So that's a little tip for anyone who is planning on using Barbary. So yeah, I've started to do that and I've tried to actually stick to doing between like six to eight hours of actively studying, like actually doing something, which in Barbary's world, it's going to be like 10 hours, but that's not true. So I hope that makes sense. 
um maybe once you guys get barbary if you guys ever need it then you'll understand what i'm saying if this is still an issue by then but i'm done with the mpt now i'm going to do some practice questions on mixed subjects and then finish my torts lecture which is two hours and 45 minutes so that's good that i got this over with i'm actually about to go make my coffee it's still in the freezer i hope it didn't freeze <laughs> but i'm going to go put it together my little reward for getting a pretty good grade so let's go make some coffee Okay, it's about to be 1 p.m. I'm getting pretty hungry. I'm going to just eat leftovers. Okay, so here it is. Again, it's just a bunch of lettuce, spinach, and then some carrots on there, the leftover rice and ground beef and potatoes. And then I just drizzled some avocado salsa on there. And then I'm going to eat it with these late July sea salt and lime chips. They're so good. I just got done with another lecture so three hours more added to my total barbary hours so that's where i'm at so i'm probably still gonna do like two more assignments so i can go over like i said this is the actual time that i've been tracking of me actively studying i haven't added it up yet but obviously it's not 6.8 hours like barbary is saying so yeah that's really interesting to see that there is a little bit of a difference but like i said i'm not done for today so this is just what I have up to right now. All right, I'm currently working on dinner. I'm going to make some buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. So I'm just going to cook the chicken, well boil it, and then shred it and then toss it in buffalo sauce and then probably some rice or something on the side. And we will be using some romaine lettuce as like the, like a wrap. So that's what I'm about to make. I'm just cutting the fat off the chicken and then cutting it in half so it boils faster. But I wanted to talk to you guys about bar, bar prep really quick. Um, I'm officially one month, a little bit over a month into bar prep and just a little bit over a month away from the bar exam. So things are definitely starting to get real. Um, the pressure is starting to kick in I definitely feel like every day, I mean, every day has counted from the beginning, but I'm definitely feeling like every little thing I do every single day is crucial at this point because we're just getting so close to it. So I definitely feel the pressure a lot more now. Um, however, I do feel like I've learned a lot. I do feel like bar prep has been helpful and Barbary's method of teaching has been helpful. I know in my last video I was talking about how I was having some issues with Barbary freezing and stuff. So far that hasn't happened since, so that's good. I haven't had any other issues with Barbary since that last few times since the last few times that I already talked to you guys about. So Barbary is going okay. But I do feel like I'm learning, which is good. And then Adaptive Bar has been amazing. They've been the questions on Adaptive Bar are so good because I feel like their explanations are just so, so helpful. And as you guys saw earlier, I write down the rules of questions that I get wrong. Or even if I got the answer right, if I was kind of unsure or like doubtful about my answer, I write down the rule because that means that I wasn't like 100% sold on that rule. So by writing it down, it kind of like strengthens my knowledge on it. And then I know that I need to review it later on. So that's been pretty helpful. That's been a technique that has been really useful in studying certain rules. So that's kind of where I'm at, but things are definitely starting to feel real. The pressure is definitely on. I mean, it's been on since the beginning, but I'm, we're just getting closer and closer. So definitely running out of time, it feels like. And I know a month is still a lot. And I keep getting told from like the Barbara emails that I get or like my professors who still keep in touch with us because they're still giving us like help with bar prep even though it's one month away um there's still plenty of time to learn a lot and i believe it because in only one month of bar prep i've learned a lot 
I can only imagine what the next month is going to do for my knowledge. And in total, two months of bar prep should be helpful and should prepare me. So I think I'm on the right track. It doesn't feel like it sometimes, but you know, I'm doing my best that I can and sticking with the bar prep rules and what I need to be doing. So feeling hopeful and confident, but that doesn't mean that I'm not nervous about it. So that's just where I'm at right now wanted to update you guys since my last video on Barbary and bar prep was not the most positive but things are looking up and getting better. All right you guys it is 10 30 p.m. I just got done with my last assignment for today. I didn't do this one today but I did do two other torts questions. You just can't see them they were under upcoming instead of today but I did do those other two assignments but here is my total time for today. According to Barbary, I did 8.3 hours, but I did take record of the time that I was actively studying. And if I calculated correctly, I did a total of 5.3 hours. And like I said, Barbary is showing I did 8.3, but really it was 5.3, but um, that's okay. What matters is that I'm actually getting some studying done. Tomorrow I'm going to aim for six or seven hours of my active studying time. And obviously, I'm always going to hit my 6.9 hours on Barbary at the very minimum. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I thought I would show you guys my total time since I was talking about it earlier. But I'm going to end off the vlog here. It's pretty late. It's 10.30, so I'm going to get ready for bed in a little bit. I'm done with Barbary. I'm still going to do some adaptive bar questions from my phone. I typically do them in bed, which... I do some of them during the day on my computer, but like the late night ones I do on my phone just because it's a little bit easier. And that's another really cool thing about Adaptive Bar is that they have an app and the app is actually super easy to use and you get all the features that you get on a computer. So I love that about Adaptive Bar. So I typically do a few questions in bed before I go to sleep and then eventually they make me super sleepy and then I just go to sleep. So that's the plan. I'll probably spend another like 30 minutes doing that. Uh, but like I said, I'm done with Barbary for today. So that's going to conclude this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to check out Liquid IV if you guys are interested. Again, you guys get some money off and free shipping if you use the code Alex Garcia. It'll be right here. And you guys can also click on the link down below and it'll take you straight to their website. So Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video.